Oh, Jimmy, wait, that's Yo, Jimmy. the wrong restaurant. It's the wrong restaurant, man. The wrong restaurant, man. <laughs> Jimmy, it's the wrong restaurant. Hello, guys. Asian Kim plays. I'm Fabio Pisco. Who? A lot Cares. of people. The last couple of days, I've been releasing some videos about the LSS 4.5. Firstly, I tested the LSS 4 versus the LSS 4.5, which is basically preset M versus preset... Uh, preset K, sorry, versus preset M slash L. Then I tested 4K ultra performance mode with the LSS 4.5, showing you uh, how it could actually be usable in some games and comparing it to the LSS 4. And then I made a video comparing the LSS 4.5 versus FSR Redstone, in this case the upscaler part, which is FSR 4.0.3. And since I've made all these videos, I thought to myself, well, uh, I need to make a tutorial for people to know how to upgrade their, their games to the LSS 4.5 and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it with the NVIDIA app which is great because you just use the NVIDIA app and you're good to go then you can do it with the LSS Swapper which is an easier way that doesn't really need the app so if you don't really want NVIDIA app the LSS Swapper will do the thing but it also has some drawbacks and then we have NVIDIA Profile Inspector so before, lay an eye into the sponsor Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's start with the NVIDIA app and well the first thing that you need to do is just install the drivers and if you don't deselect or kind of uncheck the, um, the box for NVIDIA app, NVIDIA app will be installed automatically and now we have officially in the NVIDIA app non-beta because before you needed the beta version, now it is officially on the NVIDIA app DLSS 4.5. Now you may ask, well, what's DLSS 4.5? Will DLSS 4.5 show here? Will it say DLSS 4.5? Well, not actually, but it will show you something like, for example, preset M, preset L, preset K, whatever. So for this, the first thing that you need to do is just again, open the NVIDIA app, go to the graphics tab, and now if you just want to upgrade the LSS 4.5 for a certain game that you have, you can do it in a, um, in a specific way, like go to the game that you want, like Kronos, uh, Cyberpunk, Titan Quest, and so on, or just go to the global settings and override all the 3D applications that the software recognizes. And as soon as you go here, you have the LSS override model presets, and this is exactly what you have to do. Just go, use the app, and you can select custom, and you can uh, override the frame generation, the super resolution, which is the LSS super resolution, and then ray reconstruction. What you can do here is just go to the super resolution, which is the one that we want for now, and if you select preset K, it means that all games will be running with FS with the LSS4, sorry. And if you select preset L or preset M, mostly the preset M, it means that your games will be running with the LSS4.5. Now, according to NVIDIA, especially on the newest update, on the, the newest app update, they actually tell you that choosing the LSS4.5 for all games isn't always the best solution. And if you just go here and select recommended instead of forcing a preset or forcing a version of the LSS, you can just go recommended and then apply. As soon as you go to recommended and then apply, what will happen is that if you go, for example, into the quality mode, 4K quality mode, 1440p quality mode, what will happen is that since the, the render resolution is decently high, the NVIDIA app will override with the LSS4. So let's say that you go to 1440p balanced mode. The software will use the LSS 4.5, which is the preset M. If you go, let's say, to ultra performance mode, it will still use the LSS 4.5, but now with the preset L that is targeted for the ultra performance mode. If you go to, let's say, quality mode, then the system will go back to the preset K, which is the LSS 4 that for now is aimed at higher render resolution. So it is kind of a mess. So instead of always forcing the LSS 4.5, unless you really need it or you really want it, I really advise you to go with a recommended because the software will select the best case scenario that you can get. So yeah, but I'll show you that in some minutes. And that's basically what you have to do in the NVIDIA app, as simple as it can be. But in case you don't really want to install the NVIDIA app, you don't really use the NVIDIA app for anything else besides 
that you can always go with the LSS Swapper. You just go to, to the internet, you search on Google the LSS Swapper, download, install it, and this will be it. You have here uh, the games that, that you have installed on Steam. Then you can see the games that you have on GOG or GOG, like I like to call it. Then the same for Epic Game Store, Ubisoft Connect, Battle.net, and so on, EA app, even the EA app. And as you can see, as soon as you open the game, it shows you immediately the version of the LSS that you have. For example, in Banisher's Ghost of New Eden, you have the LSS 3.1 point something, which is a really old version. But with a simple click, I can just go here and go to the latest version of the LSS, version 310.5, which includes the LSS 4.5. So I have the latest version of the LSS. And then I can go to the presets and select the preset that I want. If I want to use the LSS 4, I can choose preset K. If I want to use the LSS 4.5, I can choose preset M. If I want to use the LSS 4.5 at, at really low resolutions or really low render resolutions like ultra performance mode, I can go with preset L. It is as simple as it can be. Then I can do the same for frame generation like in the NVIDIA app. And if you have uh, a game with FSR or XCSS, you can also update F FSR and XCSS. Let's say that we go into the alters. The alters also has a, um, a older version of the LSS. I can just go here, upgrade the LSS, upgrade the LSS frame generation as well. And then I can even upgrade FSR 3.1 if I want to, to a, a later version, I would say. The current DLL, I believe it says 2.1 because I must be using the, um, the int 8 version of FSR, most likely. Um, and you can just update XCSS as well to the latest version, swap. And don't worry because this will always have a backup file. So if the game somehow doesn't work, you can just go here and you can use the original DLL, as you can see restore original DLL, do it, and now you have the original file of the game. It's really easy. And now you might ask, well, but what's the advantage of using the LSS Swapper versus the NVIDIA app? Well, with the NVIDIA app, you can simply go and override the presets and the, um, the software will even select your presets automatically, which is great, if I'm being honest, great. But at the same time, every time you reinstall a driver, you clean install your driver, you need to go there and do the preset override again. And with the DLL changing like this, with the LSS Swapper, that's not really a thing. You can just go here, you change the DLL file, then you can reinstall your drivers 150 times and the version of the LSS that you chose will still be used. But the LSS Swapper isn't all um, unicorns and, and candies. <laughs> because it also has some issues and one of the issues with the LSS Swapper is that if you swap the LL files, you are actually changing files inside the game's folder and some games will trigger the anti-cheat. If you're playing online games, the LSS Swapper isn't really advisable, but we envy with the NVIDIA app, sorry, there are no issues on that regard. So if you're playing online games, NVIDIA app is the way to go. If you don't really want to install the NVIDIA app at all, you can just use the LSS Swapper unless you're going to play online games with really, really picky anti-cheat systems, and that's fine. There are games like Marvel Rivals where you can just swap the DLLs, there are no issues whatsoever, and there are other games online as well that you can swap the DLLs without any kind of issue, but there are others, like for example Space Marine 2, that as soon as you swap the DLL, it won't even give you the option to use the LSS anymore. That's how it works. And before moving on, just let me tell you about this awesome deal that you're seeing right now. This monitor is the Titan Army P2712V. And let me just start by telling you that this costs only $280. And this is an exceptional deal. And it is an awesome deal because we're talking about a 27 inches 4K 160Hz display. And there is 160Hz, 4K 160Hz, but with a dual AI mode. Means that you can kind of change in between 4K 160Hz or full HD 320Hz. Let's imagine that you're an avid Counter-Strike 2 player. You can just switch to the 1080p 320Hz mode and play Counter-Strike 2 at 320Hz. And if you're just going to play some single player games and you just want resolution quality over the refresh rate, you can just go back to 4K 160Hz and you're completely fine. And one more time, this is only $280. And you might be thinking, well, this is a VA panel because for this price, 4K 160Hz and with dual mode, it has to be a VA panel. But it isn't. It is again 4K 160 or Full HD 320Hz and with IPS panel. So get yours, Titan Army 
P2712V. And the last thing that you can use as well if you don't really want to install anything like the LSS Swapper or if you just want a really raw software, let's call it that, with way more, op or with way more options as well, uh, you have the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. The NVIDIA Profile Inspector also can change the preset at will, but um, yeah, it looks like this. It gives you way, way more options than the LSS alone, so you can change lots, lots of things with NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And the upside of this software is that you don't really need the NVIDIA app, like the LSS Swapper. And then you ask, well, if the LSS Swapper just swaps the files and is much easier to use, and the NVIDIA app can override without any issues on the online games, What's the big point or the upside of using NVIDIA Profile Inspector? Why do it? Well, because with NVIDIA Profile Inspector, you don't need the NVIDIA app, but you can do the same process for your online games and there will be no issues. NVIDIA Profile Inspector basically uses the same method as the NVIDIA app, but without the NVIDIA app and without installing anything, to be honest. Now, you can do this on a, on a global basis, like I told you before, you can just go here to the... Um, I believe it's the common part, as you can see. You can go to DLL override in terms of the LSS and you can do it. As you can see, it is already reading the options that we chose on the NVIDIA app. Uh, DLL override on the same for forced preset letter. You can, you can choose the one that you want. And on top of this, you can just change so many things like the physics, like you can enable the 32-bit GPU acceleration uh, for the RTX 50 series, even though it, it is enabled now by default, but you can have still some issues in some games. You can enable it here. You can just go with Vulkan rebar options. For example, if a game doesn't really have resizable bar profiles, you can just go here and use a, a resizable bar, bar profile from other game. And that in some case scenarios improves the performance quite a lot. So you have lot, lots of other options that you can use like RTX HDR, you can force them. Profile Inspector lets you do lots of things. With the NVIDIA app, you have to install the NVIDIA app, but you can do anything. If you go to the LSS Swapper, you don't really need the NVIDIA app and it is really, really easy to use. And on top of that, you can also change the FSR and uh, the XSS versions, which is great. As for the Profile Inspector, it isn't as user-friendly, of course, but at the same time, you don't need the NVIDIA app and it works for online games as well without any issues. So as usual, pick your poison. Generally, I would just tell you to use the NVIDIA app, but if you don't really want to use the NVIDIA app, well, Profile Inspector or the LSS Swapper might be your fix. But well, it is always better to show you. We're running 4K in Chronos The New Dawn, which is a fairly heavy game, to be honest, a great game, but still quite heavy. It looks great also. Preset K means that we're using the LSS 4 and in theory it should be using the LSS 4.5 since the LSS 4.5 is better, but it isn't because the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA app actually knows that for quality mode, Preset K, the LSS 4, is the best solution that you can get. So now let's change to the balanced mode and 4K balanced mode is still running with the LSS 4 only, but as soon as we go to the options once more and go down to the performance mode, Let's see how it goes. And somehow it is still using the preset K. I don't really know why it shouldn't be using the preset K. Maybe I did change something inside the game. And yeah, it seems that Chronos the New Dawn or the NVIDIA application isn't working properly with it. Or maybe the game just works better overall with the preset K. That's what I get from it because as soon as we go to Spider-Man 2, as you can see, we're using the quality mode and it's set with a preset K. Then I go to the balanced mode we get more FPS and now we still have the preset K, nothing new. Then I go to the performance mode and as soon as I go to the performance mode, I go with the preset M as you can see. So performance mode goes to the LSS 4.5, which is uh, an entirely different thing in terms of sharpness and so on. And if I go to ultra performance, still with at 4K with the LSS, it still looks very, very good to be honest. And it's using now preset L. So every time that I change the render resolution, the preset also changes. It seems that the LSS 4.5 doesn't really handle uh, ray tracing well because as soon as you enable ray tracing, the reflections will get all blocky-ish. Uh, that's maybe why 
why NVIDIA is still kind of using it as a, a beta final solution for lower render resolutions, but without ray tracing it just looks very, very good. I mean, it's really hard to believe that this is being upscaled from 720p, this is just insane. And as soon as we go to performance mode, it looks even better, now upscaling from 1080p to 4K with a preset M, looking great to be honest. And then we go to the quality mode or even balanced, we can go to balanced, and it immediately goes to the preset K, which is the LSS4. And in terms of temporal stability, yeah, I would say that the LSS4.5 is a, a much better a much better solution, but I believe that in terms of general quality, preset K is still the way to go with higher render resolutions, and that's why the software does what it does. And well, now you know how to use the LSS4.5 in your newer games with three different options. Thank you very much, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget it, like, subscribe and share it if you can, and see you in the next one. Any doubts? Comment section. Cheers.